as Queen of Tears is gaining more and more popularity on Netflix, everyone is left wondering who are the cast members dating in real life. Let's start with Lee Jubin, who plays the role of Chan Dahye, who is Su Chol's beautiful and elegant wife. Even though she turns 35 this year, Lee Jubin started her acting journey pretty recently compared to some of her co-stars, as her first role came in 2017 with SBS's Whisper. In fact, she didn't even plan on becoming an actress in the first place. She had originally wanted to be an idol. Jubin used to be a trainee under DSP Media and was going to be a part of the K-pop girl group Rainbow, but she ended up leaving the company after she decided that the debut was taking too long and became a model. Her acting career has been pretty impressive so far, as she has appeared in dramas like Find Me In Your Memory, Be Melodramatic, Mr. Sunshine, Money Heist, Korea, and most recently, Queen of Tears and even Chicken Nugget. As for her love life, there's really not much to say. Due to her being a relatively fresh face in the entertainment scene, she has probably decided to keep that part of her life away from the public eye. And if we're being honest, we can't really blame her. Kwok dong Yan, who's the actor behind Jubin's on-screen husband, is an even more recognizable face for K-drama fans. At only 26, he had a number of notable roles, most supporting ones in dramas like Fight For My Way and ID Gangnam Beauty before getting his big break in Vincenzo. Then he was booked for role after role like in Big Mouth, Our Beloved Summer, and of course, Queen of Tears. At this point though, you must be wondering, does someone as handsome as Dong Yeon have a special someone in his life? In an interview back in 2016, Dong Yeon revealed that he hasn't had much time to focus on romantic relationship as he hadn't dated anyone since high school. But did his luck change? During a special episode of the variety show Radio Star, back in 2014, he appeared on the show alongside Kim Yoo Jong and Kim So Hyun. When questioned about his preferences, he initially mentioned Han Jimin as his ideal type, but was then urged to pick between Kim Yoo Jong and Kim So Hyun, and he chose the latter. However, immediately after, people started assuming that there was something romantic between the two, thinking that there must be a reason that he chose Kim So Hyun. Little did they know that it was this exact moment why Dong Yeon became afraid of appearing in variety shows from then on. After he chose So Hyun due to the hosts pushing him to pick someone, the media made it seem like he had genuine feelings for her, which caused a lot of confusion and presumably uncomfortable situations between the two. Since then, we can't really blame him for trying to keep that part of his life private just so people won't assume that he's dating another one of his colleagues. We imagine it's not an ideal situation. Another familiar face on the cast is that of Park Song Hoon. At the age of 39, Song Hoon has quite an impressive filmography that's only getting bigger and better by the day. He has starred in numerous dramas and movies, including Psychopath Diary, Joseon Exorcist, The Kidnapping Day, and Not Others, among many, but is mostly recognized as the actor behind John Jae Joon in the hit drama The Glory. He's currently impressing everyone with his acting as Yoon Eun Song, a Wall Street analyst and M&A expert who connects with the Queen's family upon returning to Korea. Song Hoon has also been cast in the second season of Squid Game, so we have a lot to look forward to. As for his personal life, he used to be in a long-term relationship with actress Ryu Hyun Kyung. The two started developing feelings for each other after working together in the 2016 play Almost Maine. The relationship became official in March of 2017, with both actors confirming that they were dating. Since then, the former couple started going on public dates. Song Hoon even thanked Hung Kyung in his speech at the 2018 KBS Drama Awards, saying, I am also sincerely grateful to actress Ryu Hyun Kyung, who has given me great strength. Sadly, this relationship came to an end after six long years. The actors' agencies issued a statement stating that the two have chosen to stay friends and requested support and love for both. It's sad to see their relationship end, but they both appear happy. Before we get to the main cast's romantic lives, we have some great news to share with you. March brings a long list of new K-dramas and Korean variety shows. However, true K-drama lovers understand the challenge of getting to them fast and without any issues. Unless one settles for strange websites with poor video quality, it's difficult to get to watch new K-drama episodes on time. When we first tried Surfshark VPN, today's sponsor, we had some doubts, but after using it for some time, we can confidently say that it grants us access to numerous new dramas and variety shows by changing our IP address. Take for instance the latest drama, Queen of Tears, starring Kim Soo Hyun and Kim Ji Won. Although it's available on Netflix, some viewers may face difficulties or delayed releases of its episodes due to location restrictions. Thanks to Surfshark VPN, this inconvenience is not an issue, as it enables everyone to change their IP address to any desired location in the world. By switching to South Korea's IP address, 
You can enjoy new episodes of Queen of Tears and of many other dramas on their release day without a hitch. Furthermore, Surfshark VPN ensures protection against hackers and other online threats when browsing the internet or using public Wi-Fi. By safeguarding your identity and privacy, it adds a very valuable layer of security to your online experience. You can now secure your privacy and stream more Korean content with Surfshark VPN. And if you enter coupon code Miss K, you'll get an extra three months free at surfshark.deals slash Miss K, or you can scan our QR code to get there effortlessly. Kim ji also had a long career before she took on the role of the CEO of Queen's Department Store in Queen of Tears. 31-year-old ji was discovered when she was in middle school and underwent three years of training to pursue stage performance. ji started gaining recognition after appearing in popular commercials as a teenager, and then she started acting in movies and dramas in 2011 with Romantic Heaven and High Kick 3. After starting out with smaller roles, ji shot to fame with the drama The Heirs. Her acting managed to catch the eye of famous K-drama writer Kim Eun-suk, who then cast her in Descendants of the Sun, which became a huge hit. She later starred in Fight for My Way alongside Park Seo-joon. But with this impressive filmography, many fans consider her role in My Liberation Notes to be her most standout performance of her career. Well, at least until Queen of Tears, where she has shown that she has grown as an actress even more. When it comes to romance, there have been some rumors that she might be dating one actor or the other, but the one name that pops up the most is Yoo yeon sok The rumors between the two date back to 2012 after it was reported that the two developed a romantic relationship during the filming of the movie Horror Stories. However, the rumors were quickly denied by King Kong Entertainment, who said that the two only had a senior-junior relationship. That wouldn't be the end of the rumors between them, though. Just three years later, the magazine Woman Sense said that the two were in a relationship, but once again, the agency denied everything and insisted that they were just friends. Then, in 2016, Sports Chozun came out with an exclusive report saying that they had been spotted on a date. According to the report, they had gone to a restaurant and they really didn't care about being seen by others as they showed affection toward each other. It was also said that the alleged relationship between the two was known amongst their peers in the industry. An insider stated the pair's parents have approved of their relationship and their friends aren't keeping it a secret. Another insider said they match very well despite their eight-year difference in age. Even though they have been dating around four years, their love is passionate. There are many who hope they get married. However, the rumors were denied once again, with King Kong Entertainment saying that the two weren't on a date but were spending time as friends, since their managers were also present. She has also had rumors with her co-stars due to how much chemistry she had with them. It happened with Park So Joon when they acted together in Fight For My Way, and it happened with Ji Chang Wook in Love Struck in the City. In fact, their chemistry was so off the charts that the director of the drama was afraid that a scandal was going to break out as he was convinced that the two were dating. However, officially speaking, Jiwon is still single and focusing on her career. Now let's focus on Kim Soo Hyun. He started as an actor early on, as he took acting classes during school to overcome his shyness, as per his mother's suggestion. After some stage performances, he debuted on TV in 2007 with the family sitcom Kim Chi Chi's Smile. He gained recognition with leading roles in dramas like Dream High, Moon Embracing the Sun, and My Love from the Star. In 2020, Soo Hyun took on the role of Moon Gang Tae, an orphaned psychiatric aid in the drama It's Okay to Not Be Okay, which marked his first leading role on the small screen in five years. The very next year, he starred in the series One Ordinary Day, portraying Kim hyun Soo, a college student whose life takes a dramatic turn when he becomes the prime suspect in a criminal case. He has won the hearts of the audiences once again at the age of 36 in the role of Jiwon's on-screen husband in Queen of Tears. Since he's one of the highest paid actors in the industry, as well as one of the most popular ones, people automatically assume that he has a very successful love life. Back in 2012, Soo Hyun revealed that he has had nine girlfriends in the past, but didn't mention any names. Sure, he might have been joking, but with a face like that, we wouldn't be surprised if the number was even higher. He also had dating rumors with both Suzy and John Ji Hyun due to his amazing chemistry with them. But according to Soo Hyun, he considers Ji Hyun as an older sister and Suzy as a younger sister. It was also rumored that he was dating Nana, since the two had mentioned each other as their ideal types. But Nana explained that the two were just friends 
friends and nothing more. He also had a dating scandal with Sohi of Wonder Girls. Back in 2015, it was reported that the two had been dating for a while, with a resident of the same apartment complex saying that Suhyun tends to visit Sohi at her apartment a lot. Rumors also said that Suhyun convinced Sohi to join his agency, which furthered their relationship. There were also voices that they were getting married, however. All rumors were denied by Key East Entertainment. So, as of 2024, Suhyun has yet to have an official public relationship.